Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Ruth. I am not Ruth, but we do have a Ruth with us. I am your host, Mike Warren, for this program, Ruth Elderbrook. Hey, Cooking Mike. with Ruth. Hey, welcome back. Hey, thanks. Glad to be here. Oh, wait, you should say oh, that to me. <laughs> you should welcome me it's back. It's been a while, Mike. Our well, last big show, the Super Bowl. Well, the, the big game. The did? big game. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's been a while, so I wanted to come by the show, yeah, see how cool. you were doing. Cool. And had a little extra time on the schedule, and I thought, let's go over to Ruth's Kitchen cool. and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Awesome. So. Cool. What's on the agenda for today? Well, I decided since it's 4th of July this week, we should probably make something with a red, white, and blue kind of theme. Perfect. Does that work for you? Red yeah. aprons? You it know? works for me. Okay. So we are going to start out. Part of this is kind of my own concoction, but it's kind of a typical recipe. Do you know what this bowl is called? A bowl. That's a trifle. Oh. So we are making a trifle dessert okay. that's going to go in that bowl. All right. So we're going to start with... Angel food cake. I actually made an extra angel food cake because I had an event last week and you never want to run out. So I ended up with one and a half cakes instead of just. <laughs> I thought in case we messed up the first just one. Just in case we <laughs> messed up. Another one on standby. Yeah. So we're going to have uh, angel food cake, which you're going to cut and then just kind of tear into pieces. So we're going to have one layer of angel food on the bottom. Okay. Topped with some, this is actually a fat free, sugar free jello instant pudding. Um, if I wanted it kind of full, you know, um, calories, I would make it from scratch so that you'd have more sugar in there. All right. So angel food, um, jello pudding, and then red strawberries and blue, uh, blueberries. So this is our white. That's well, going to be, that's going to, yeah. The cake is sort of the, so this yeah, is so kind of a layer. layers, yep. Layer and deal. then we're going to top it with uh, real whipped cream as opposed to low-fat Cool Whip. I don't really like the low-fat Cool Whip. So, and then uh, a few pieces of blueberries on top. Okay, okay. so okay. we'll get started here. So, you, so, you, so your first, <clears throat> your first. So uh, what, what I do is you, you can just up. like cut a piece like that. Yeah. And then you can just kind of tear it into oh. pieces like that size. Like okay. Like you're like making that size. communion wafers or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Right. That's at your church. We have real. That's right. We yeah. use the little chunks of whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. So we have to make a whole. Uh, so we're going to have two layers of So how, of how do you know how many pieces? So you can just keep, keep tearing, it? yep, and then because it's just going to be two layers of that. So we'll, we'll have plenty. You might two, even, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. so this will we'll bring this, this back. Right. So it'll be this. Pudding. I mean, we'll layer, it, yep. we'll layer each item a couple of times. Exactly. Is that the idea? Yep. All right. So have you made any of those wonderful recipes since the big game show? You, uh, no. I, I have not. So you're not much of a... I've been waiting to come uh, back big. here to have, okay. you know, have you do it for me. Basically. You know, you can call, too, because well, we true. generally... I did get one of your... Uh, that's uh, the last time I was here, I did pick... What did I order? Uh, was it a turtle... Oh, uh, turtle cheesecake? Yes. Yes. Yes, and that was... That was for your Super Bowl party, wasn't it? No, that was for... I can't remember what that was for. But uh, it was amazing. How are we doing okay, on layers? Are those bit pieces yep, those small are, enough? Those, yep, those are good. They how don't about, have to be about, any particular mm -hmm. size, right? How about just a few more, because we'll cover okay. the bottom there. Good idea. So they don't have... They can just be like yeah. that, yeah, or as exactly. big as you want them, bite size, right. that kind of a thing. So yeah, the the turtle is that what it was called? It was the a turtle, turtle cheesecake. Oh, it was amazing! Yep. I can't remember what exactly. I it was think it was for. a Super Bowl party you had. Um, could have been, could have been. It was amazing. Whatever it was for. Okay. All right, so is that is that thick that enough? looks good? Yep. So I am going to put about half of my pudding on there. Okay. And that's and that's uh, just because you'll have another cover layer. It. Yep, gonna have one layer. So how much layer. pudding did you make? I just made a large box, so it was the okay. um, 1.5 ounces. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now you're gonna put about half of these strawberries. So I can just sprinkle mm -hmm. them on yep, there. Yep, and half of the blueberries. Half of the bowl, <clears throat> right? Or until it's covered nicely. Oh gosh. Yeah. So in other words, I gotta do this. Yeah. Efficiently. Make it nice. Oh really? We're actually mm. going to keep a couple of these for the top, I think. This oh, is a good. nice yeah, one for the top. To so it doesn't have to be completely covered. No. Because I then you're going to save gonna enough. Cover so I just want to fill in the holes, right? Mm -hmm. How's that look? That looks great. I want to my, uh, my, save enough. Is that my enough? Other, yes, good. My assistant um, yeah. cooking partner. We know, oh, uh, yeah. The but guy he got replaced. He got replaced. Oh, yeah, he's okay. kind of pouty about that right yeah, now. I know. Okay, then blueberries. Well, so these I can just pour. Yes, yep. So, sprinkle them in, mm -hmm. and 
about half. It can be about half of that too, oh, sure. Gosh. I'm not good at estimating. Am I getting good that's, coverage that's there? That's good, yeah. That's awesome, right. okay. Wow. Okay, that's now we're going to do another layer of cake. So we, do okay. more, uh, so we basically yep. repeat <clears throat> the process. Right. The, the cake itself is the, the, pretty simple. The cake, I have made... Um, angel food cakes from scratch, which is like a dozen egg whites, and you have to beat that and and add the sugar and and so this one things. Is from so this one is not from scratch, but okay. it's um, it's really easy. So for people that like easy things, it's uh, either Pillsbury or yeah. Betty Crocker, and you just add water to it, and you and need an you angel go. food cake pan, you know, to to right. to do it. But and then when you want to, um, we want if you have cake? extra, yes. When you, when you have an extra cake like that, I just wrapped it well in uh, saran wrap and okay. then put it in a, a covered container to keep it in the freezer. And it'll last in the freezer for quite a while until you need to use it. Really? How long? Uh, weeks, probably. Oh. So you don't have yeah. to use it right away? No, no. Do we want more yeah, cake? Yeah, I'm going to maybe cover up some more. Yep. How am, I just, am I getting good yeah. coverage here? Yep. We're just going to turn so this you thing and even and it out I want to kind of even it out a little right. bit, right? Yep. I would have had you do all of this, you know, um, from the beginning today, but then you would have been here oh several gosh. hours. Yeah. So. Uh, more. Okay, a little bit more. more yep, right? a little bit more. Well, probably. Is, end you, up, is the idea to fill it to the top? Um, well, no, not to the top because then we have all this other stuff we have to do. Oh, we have the whipped cream yet. Right. Right. Yep. Well, that can that can spill over, can it? Oh yeah. Because then. <laughs> You get to clean it up. Yeah. Okay. Now we're so going to just finish uh, this okay, off. Okay. So the rest of the pudding. And if I had wanted, I had thought about making a double batch of this, which I maybe could have. So if you wanted more pudding, um, you could do that. Uh, another recipe that I have that I've made before is I've put cream cheese in oh, in a yeah. in a recipe. It's an eclair dessert, and you can you could even put the the cream cheese. In your your pudding, which makes it really nice, and then add more whipped cream to that. So once you layer okay. this all up, this is done pretty much. It is. Okay. So the rest Let's of these. See. We're gonna put the rest of those on. I'm gonna get my whipping cream out. Spread them out so we get good color and coverage. And you get a blueberry in every bite. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> so, Almost. Almost, not quite. But. <coughs> And this will serve a lot of people. That's going to serve a lot of people. So, and you can actually have this for the main part of your, your meal or the dessert, you know, because right. of having the. So, it could pass, you could pass this off as a salad type of thing or a dessert mm -hmm. or just. Uh, that's another nice beer. I'm going to put that one on top. No, actually, that's oh, orange on under the. Bottom, the uh, so I that's like right, this we, one still have, uh, we still have whipped cream to add. Yes. Right? How's my coverage looking? Oh. That looks great. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. okay, so I did make my, my homemade whipping cream, oh which I'll just let you. So you just, just uh, kind of generously. Ooh, generously. Generously. Can we have enough because we should have enough. So. Oh gosh, I hope so. I can be. Uh, and sometimes I tell Gary like, don't pat it down. Keep it kind of light and, okay. and fluffy. I like. You just want to. Just to cover it again. Okay, so we want to. Uh, we're going to use all this. We're going to use all of it. Yes. Okay. Well, and. and I can be generous, so I might run out. I hope not. So you kind of, but the idea is to cover the whole thing, right? Right. right. Okay. So do you do? Do you have traditions that you do on Fourth of July? Not really. No. We're For fireworks, right? Fireworks, yeah. Doesn't everyone do the fireworks show? In fact, when we lived in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, for nine years, that was nine years before, prior to 1990. Um, since then, it. Their Fourth of July fireworks, and it's like this huge event. They, there's a bridge that goes through the city, <clears throat> and they have vendors and music going on, and it's it's a huge family event. People come with, it's like the concert on the, on the square oh, or the sure. concert in the park where you bring your food and tables and, and all this stuff. So it's a really cool event. But our kids are are coming um, back. I think on our last show we announced that. Matthew and Alana are going to be coming and staying with us for a little while. They've uh -huh. decided to take a reprieve from their jobs and they're right. going to travel starting in Tokyo and uh -huh. kind of work their way around the world and see what happens. And um, so they're, they're actually in Wausau now at her mom's and Weston actually. 
So they'll be coming this week, and then we're heading to Madison on Wednesday. Our son Michael is in this band called The Audience. It's a, a Christian um, yeah, band. Right. You, have I've you seen that? Him. Yep. And they're doing their first concert in Madison. So it's at St. Paul's Newman Center. So we'll be going down and having a little picnic with Megan and Paul, and hopefully Matthew and Alana will join us. And then, nice. <clears throat> then we'll go to the concert on the park, on the square. Um, or I guess it's called the concert on the square yeah. in Madison, and which uh, is amazing. So they'll probably do something, I imagine, since it's so close to the 4th. So now I'm using all this up. Or most of it's it. looking Did really I get good. good coverage I here? think so, yes. I could have probably even had more whipping cream. I, well, I told you I was generous. You can never have enough of, of that no. stuff, you know? So let's, uh, can we clean that out? Sure, yeah. Just to use, right? We want to use exactly. it all. You don't, exactly. You don't want to leave any in the bowl, do you? No, no. I'll get most of it here. So then we uh, add our little accents. Yes. Look at this. Hey, this did you help with, with putting out flags with for the Hillers flag? I did not. Out day? No, I was going to, and uh, then all of a sudden, well, normally they had done it closer to the 4th. Right. So then I got mine over the weekend. Okay. Before the 4th. So all of a sudden I looked out and there was my flag. Well, we, I'm going to take off this extra. So did we save enough berries there? for the top I think here? so. So what I'm thinking is we're that. just going to kind of put a couple here. Kind of a centerpiece. In the middle. And then you can just throw the other little blueberries around. And so if we, we just need dot, more, just kind nice. of dot them. Kind of like that? Yeah. yeah. I didn't get awesome. good coverage. But we'll have to put some more on. We'll get some but more. Otherwise, but that's the idea. That's, that's the our idea. Red, white, and blue, uh, what is it? I would call it a red, white, and blue layer cake. Sure. Wow. Or trifle. trifle. Our 4th of July trifle. And that's it? That's it. So how many minutes did it take us to put that together? I don't know, 10? 10. It's so pretty easy. So pre-prep pre work, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to make up the pudding and the cake ahead of time. You're talking an hour yeah, or Yeah, probably. Two tops. Yeah, absolutely. All right. What else do we need to know about this? Um, That's it. Eat it. You just eat it. <laughs> and so you should keep it so you keep it in the refrigerator, so and, and you can actually keep this, again, for a few days. We had made um, a small dessert similar to this for an event we had last week. So we had a couple little dishes left over, and that, I think, the third day we, we finished the last okay. little dish. So it's, it's going to last well. Yeah, the and whipping it'll cream and your whole 10, party. 15 people, yeah, so people will have a good time. Wow. Add some extra fireworks okay. things on there. And just don't blow up the cake. So, yeah, we're good. All right, so that's our dish for this time around. It is. Excellent. So it was really fun having you here again, Yeah, it was Mike. great to be back in the kitchen. Yeah, and at some point while. maybe we need to do, you know, a, a further update on, on what we're doing now in my retirement from the UW. That would and be good. Awesome. Right. So from a slice of heaven, um, have a happy 4th of July, and until next time, happy baking. <laughs>